Hello, this is Buona from Buona TV. Today, I want to talk about uh, an exciting announcement, which was announced. An announcement which was announced today by Google. Google has acquired Gizmo Five, and I'm going to talk about the implications of this deal. If you don't understand what either of these companies are doing together, I'm going to break it down for you. Google acquires Gizmo Five. Now, before I even talk more about the acquisition, I'm going to talk a little bit about Gizmo Five. They used to be known as the Gizmo Project. And when Skype first came out, you guys know about Skype, right? Voice over IP-ish type service, very popular. Uh, when Skype first came out, Gizmo Project was the, I don't know, the, the I guess the open source arm or competitor to Skype because it, support, it supported SIP, S-I-P, which is an open technology that a lot of different t companies use, that even Cisco uses SIP, excuse me. Cisco uses SIP. Everybody who's into voice over IP knows about SIP. The Asterix project is a big SIP proponent. Now Gizmo 5 has been known to be very popular amongst these people because it supports SIP standards and it offers a wealth of features. Number one, you get a free conference call number through, I think it's freeconferencecall.com. You can use a landline and have a voice over IP bridge. So if you want, like I was telling people, uh, back in one of my videos, how to record a podcast, Gizmo 5 is an option because you can give them a free conference call number, fire up your Gizmo 5 client on your desktop, and record the audio from your desktop. It's very flexible. That's just one of the thousands of ways you can use Gizmo 5. Now, the reason why it's kind of a big deal now that Google has acquired Gizmo 5 is because of Google Voice. Google Voice is Google's telephony app, if you will. Right now, it's primarily centered around voicemail and uh, just call routing, if you will. Those are the big fortes. But if you combine, just think about it. If you combine what I just talked about, voice over IP technology, all right, SIP stuff, the free conference call numbers and flexibility, all the different apps you can use with Gizmo 5. I haven't talked about that either. And you combine that with Google Voice. What you have here is something that the phone companies are going to hate. I'm telling you right now, it's something that the phone companies are going to scratch their heads and go, I don't know how we're going to compete with that because it's going to be huge. It's going to be something that's going to change communications. All right. And I'm surprised that I, I never thought about the combination before. I really have never thought about the combination. I'm surprised that um, this deal was allowed to go through because it's going to make Google a juggernaut even bigger juggernaut in the telephony realm. Um, I know a lot of people welcome that, but I just, I'm thinking about the FCC and, and their, uh, you know, their past deals. But anyway, Google has acquired Gizmo 5. Big, big deal, guys. Big, big deal. If you don't know about Gizmo 5, go to gizmo5.com. Last time I checked, it was down because the story hit TechCrunch and everybody, boom, blasted the site. Um, but check out Gizmo 5. I think I did a couple of videos or podcasts on it. I know I've talked about it a lot on here. Uh, especially when combined with Asterix and other voice over IP open source efforts. Check out Gizmo 5. And, and you guys already know about Google Voice. If you don't, go to google.com slash voice. You get more details on that. So it's it's very, very exciting, guys. And, and I, I, I saw it and my mouth just nah, dropped. <laughs> I was like, wow, because this is a big, big deal. All right, I'm not going to babble anymore. This is Borna from Borna.tv. Google has acquired Gizmo 5. Check it out. I'll put the link in the show description so you can read about it, get more details. Vote for me, not for president. But I was nominated, guys. Yes, I was nominated for the Podcast Awards. Go to podcastawards.com. Look under the tech science section. You'll see Buona.tv. Vote for me if you feel I deserve it. If you don't, hey, I'll respect your vote anyway. That was me telling you to vote for me. I got something special. No, I'm just, I'm not bribing you. I'm just joking. Check it out. Go to podcastawards.com. Voting begins November 13th. That's this coming Friday, November 13th through November 30th, all right? So you only got that time period to vote. If you go there now, you can't vote. You got to wait till Friday. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for nominating me, and please vote.